All right, here we go. The Chronicles from yesterday. The heater, making noises. Okay, so yesterday, monster day. Um, got up at, what are we talking about, four, 4.30, which isn't irregular to me. It's kind of highlighting the process. Um, out of the house at five, you know, had my, you know, couple espresso shots. Oh, just love this uh, this new coffee machine. These espressos it makes are absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, then I was at the gym. You know, in the morning, training first clients by six, and uh, yeah, training from six to seven. Then hopped in the sauna for a bit, and because uh, I wanted to hop in the sauna because I knew that I was going to have a big workout um, with one of my training partners later on in the afternoon. So I wanted to stack the cards in my favor. Um, then I trained another client um, from eight to nine. And then I got ready and headed out because I had about an hour drive to be able to get to a meeting downtown. And uh, my partner and I, or two, my, two of my partners and I, we had uh, a meeting with our marketing team um, for an hour and a half. And then I headed out to, uh, to Poco to be able to meet my dad. Um, we went out for lunch and uh, I asked for this omelet. And uh, like, I swear to God, there was probably at least 12 eggs in this omelet. It was the most monster, like mucho burrito grande size omelet I've ever seen in my entire life. I, I couldn't even eat it all. Like I just, I packed it down. I wanted to champion through it, but there's about six bites left at the end and I just, I couldn't do it. I should have literally stopped at the halfway mark because it was just a mistake trying to eat this thing. I was just disgustingly full all day. Um, then I'd head from Poco out to Surrey, um, Guilford area, and I had a meeting with my lawyer for an hour. Um, just some paperwork stuff, some things to be able to sign. Um, then I drove to uh, Panorama Ridge and uh, went to the Y with, there with uh, with my homeboy Craig. Um, you know, my bestie through and through for sure. And uh, we pound out just a beast workout. I posted it on my uh, my social media yesterday. And uh, still so full from, from lunch uh, at the end of the workout. Um, after we got off the assault bike, I actually threw up on my mouth a little bit. And uh, for one, I was kind of disappointed in myself because I hate when I eat that much. And I know it affected my workout all the way through because I just wasn't comfortable in my workout at all. And, um, you know, but we all make those mistakes sometimes. You know, even when we know better, um, we're still going to continue to make them. And I just, I try not to beat myself up for it and just say, you know what, I did it. Let's try to mitigate it, you know, as much as we can going on in the future. But it's just one of those things where it's going to happen. Um, left from there, I drove out to Panorama Ridge a little bit further down and I uh, trained another client. You know, I had an absolutely great time. Um, she's just an amazing person and I always say that if, if anybody's going to give me the authority to be able to be the most authentic, ruthless version of myself, it's definitely her because um, she's like a thousand times more outrageous than me. And uh, then headed back out to Langley and, uh, and had a class. Um, after that, then drove back downtown. I uh, trained another two clients, and then we went out to eat. Tasty Indian Bistro, Yale Town, shout out. Awesome, but still full this morning from it. Um, yeah, we had a couple glasses of wine and some like really amazing Indian food. Yeah, stomach's still super heavy from that this morning. Um, so I rolled in the door about 12.30 last night, and um, yeah, it was brutal because I just knew waking up this morning, you know, I was going to be like super dry, um, not only from like sitting in the sauna and from going trying to drink as much water as I could, but um, eating Indian food that late um, is always tough on the mind and the body, um, especially the stomach. Because uh, like I said, just you're not going to digest that food at night and it just sits super heavy and of course, you know, overeat that again as well. Uh, but how can you not? That's tasty Indian bistro and it's just fantastic food. Um... I, I potentially turned my 3.30 alarm off and uh, and woke up at 5, laid there till 5.13, hating life. And uh, then I got up and got in the shower and uh, yeah, packed my bag, packed my oldest daughter's bag, uh, launched the podcast and um, had my, my double shot espresso. Uh, hopped in the car, drove out to South Surrey. You know, now I'm at Sandcastle Fitness. Shout out Sandcastle Fitness. Um, to be able to train a few clients and uh, and yeah that's the day so far so that's like the last 24 hours so you know sometimes you got to forge through and when you forge through so you can either stack the cards in your favor or not and it seems like in the last 24 hours I've definitely stacked the cards against me but you know what 
I'm here and I'm pushing through. So again, this is all a part of the Let's Change Together campaign. Um, you know, and just, you know, highlighting, you know, some of the things that I still struggle with too, even though that I know better. And, uh, you know, yesterday was definitely the overeating thing. You know, I intentionally only ate twice. That's all I wanted to eat because I knew that I was going to eat um, out at both of these events and stuff. Um, you know, but again, I overate at both of them and uh, I should know better. Right? Absolutely. But it happened and uh, I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm going to move and or move forward and I'm going to push forward. And, uh, yeah, I hope that you've had a great day too.